And my name is Dina, and I'm from Spring, Texas. My name is Dutch, and I'm from Pflugerville, Texas. Audra from Pearland, Texas. My name is Bill. I live in the Houston area. Bob from Moulton, Texas. M-O-U-L-T-O-N. My name is Hannah Mathams. I am a resident of Damon, Texas. Hi, I'm Heidi Mathams from Damon, Texas. We're sisters. <laughs> My name is Keith. I got Teal's Custom Meat Market. My name is Michael and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. My name is Charline and they call me Charlie when I'm working with guys. <laughs> My name's Randy and I live here in Rockport. My name is Ty and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I am Tiffany Misla from Sugarland, Texas. My mom's friend from Houston called and asked how we were doing, said if we needed anything. And he drove his trailer down here so we could stay in it till we got power back. My very good friend, Veronica Loop, retired from my business. She's like my mom. She has a place here in Rockport, and uh, me and my boys, her son Randy lives here. My boys and I decided we should come down on the, on the holiday weekend and help clean up her house. The first day is here, we, me and him went for a ride around town, and we drove by Castaways, the local like Salvation Army kind of a thing, and we looked and there was thousands and thousands of dollars worth of baby food laying out in the hot sun spoiling. It just looked like a madhouse. I mean, they were, people were, the parking lot was just full of people. They were unloading stuff, loading stuff. And thought it was very sad that people from all over the world were sending this stuff, and this is how we were saying thank you. And we came home and said, what can we do about it? And I don't know how I got the guy's name and number, but we got in touch with someone, and we got a key to a building, and started feeding Rockport. <laughs> I ended up here because my cousin Bill Thomas gave me a call. He said, cousin, I need your help. I need you to call our other cousins. I need all of you. It was uh, unbelievable what happened. Everybody stepped up from all over. People from around the world actually flew in to help set this up. Um, it was just it was just amazing the love that everybody brought into the community. You know, I came down originally to help my family. When I drove in town, uh, I just decided to stay and help out as much as I could where I could. So I've been here about three weeks now and uh, plan on staying. My friend Tiffany put out a mass email to my company and uh, she said they needed some help down here. And I mean, I was flooded in for five days. It was fun, it was a blast. I had oceanfront property, but um, it's nothing like being down here uh, to understand the uh, the devastation and meeting with uh, the Cajun Navy and um, partnered up with the uh, uh, the commissary they were able to bring in tons and tons of donations and uh, to help people out here I had been trying to get connected with somebody that would put me to work helping with hurricane relief and uh, I was having difficulty getting hooked up with some of the big names that everybody knows, but I went to the Facebook page of the Cajun Navy and they had this guy named Randy's phone number posted, first name only. And so I called Randy and I said, hi Randy, I'm Ty, do you need help? And he said, yes, come to Rockport. And I said, when? And he said, now. And so I got in a car and I drove to see Randy, uh, sight unseen, last name still unknown. <laughs> My neighbor Don and I were hanging out in my house and we were just talking about how much we volunteered because we're from the Houston area. And she just said, I wonder where else we can help. And I ran and we said, I wonder what happened to Rockport. So she sends me a screenshot of the Cajun Navy. Her mom and dad live in the Keys in Florida. And so she's been watching to see the Cajun Navy able to go to the Keys and see what they're gonna do to help. So when she was scrolling, she stumbled upon the help that was needed here at the donation center. And she and I spoke and we said, done deal, when are we going? I actually heard about the Cajun, the Louisiana Cajun Navy through my friend and she had been following their Facebook Live posts and how they really needed volunteers. So we just kind of packed up the truck and came on down and 
ended up staying a lot longer than we anticipated, but it's been fantastic. I uh, came to donate some stuff and they needed some help, so we just stayed here. First came down here with my church and we decided to come down for the day all together and help out. Uh, when we got down here, we realized just how bad it was. And just hearing people's stories and seeing how everybody reacted so differently to the disaster and what they were going through, I just figured I needed to help more and I had nothing better to do, so I stayed. Uh, I got the call from the Louisiana Cajun Navy and uh, came down here to assess the situation. And uh, it was bad. It was horrible. It was the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. I ended up actually working the front in Rockport where the line comes up and the people fill out the forms and then we take the forms and shop or shop and then bring the uh, groceries out to them. We were able to get a generator that actually powered the whole building and so air con luckily air conditioning came on much easier for the volunteers. I've helped with cooking, I've helped with driving around handing out food, um, I've cut trees off people's property, I've cut them off the roof. Um, and especially people that don't have insurance, that's who I'm trying to help. I helped out in the kitchen. There was an actual French chef from the Art Institute, and we cooked, and we made a lot of delicious food for the people coming in, and then I went up to the front to help organize donations. It's been uh, taking in donations from people all over the country, all over the world. I think we've even had a few people from overseas. I think we had one from Singapore. We fed a bunch of people. We fed about I don't, I don't know, oh, probably over 50,000 meals from the time that we've been here. I was lucky enough that the lady who was doing the barbecue asked me would I like to work because she didn't have any crew yet together, you know, had a couple. And I said, yes, I'm a Texas girl, I love barbecue. <laughs> uh, I've been helping, you know, kind of make, make this thing go in any way that I could. Um, you know, one day I'm working on IT stuff, another day I'm throwing boxes in the back of a truck. You know, another, another day I was unloading an 18-wheeler. Every day was different, but uh, you know, basically we've just been moving massive amounts of donated goods, you know, from the street, through this building behind me over here, and out to the public, to people that were waiting in line for, for things that they needed to get through their day and start recovering from the hurricane. And so that's, that's what we have all been doing here. As to what I've been doing, I don't know, maybe getting in everybody's way. So now we've been here all week, and I've done, I think, a little bit of everything. And I'm not an active person, but if someone needs something here, I'll do it. Just sorting, unloading trucks, and helping people, and just whatever they tell me to. Nice shot, Harvey, but don't mess with Texas. Nice shot, Harvey, don't mess with Texas. Nice shot, Harvey, don't mess with Texas. That's right, good shot, Harvey, don't mess with Texas. Nice shot, Harvey, don't mess with Texas. Nice shot, Harvey, don't mess with Texas. It's a good try, Harvey, but you can't mess with Texas, brother. Don't, don't mess, mess with, with Texas. Texas. <laughs>